BLM staff teamed up with community volunteers and others to sift through mounds of dirt at historic Fort Benton. They discovered beads, buttons, and other artifacts that hint at what life was like for traders on the Missouri River during the mid-1800s. The only thing that existed until when we started this project in 1995 was the block house that you'll see behind me, and that's the oldest standing building in the state. This excavation is the latest of several multi-agency archaeological digs to help bring history back to life at the fort. We have folks from the Montana State Historic Preservation Office. Uh, we have several field offices the BLM represented, volunteers from the Fort Benton area, and then folks from the River and Plains Society here in Fort Benton as well. Artifacts found were carefully packaged with field notes regarding the section and depth at which they were discovered to provide important information for researchers. So we're excavating what's called the Engage Quarters, which is where the um, American and French fur trappers and their native wives lived. So it was a two-story building. On the bottom you had um, a saddlery, a tin shop, a tailor, and then some other little miscellaneous things. And then on the second story was where all the folks lived. Several days of hard work paid off with a wide variety of historical artifacts. So you can see this, there's some different sizes of beads there, and then this really big faceted one. So these are called trade beads. And there's names for different ones. They were talking about seed, seed beads and pony beads, I think might be these bigger ones. We were getting a little disappointed, but then I got to a section along the wall and found something round that I thought was just a rock, and it turned out to be this cannonball that we got to <laughs> pull out, which was a really cool find. Um, so it looks like it hadn't been used. There's no sign of impact. We're not at the bottom yet, so that we're still pulling stuff out. Uh, we're at, we've hit 60, which is sort of rough, 60 centimeters, which is roughly where the other test units have sort of bottomed out, but we're still finding stuff, so we're going to keep going until we, until we stop finding stuff.